February 1st, 2024 was just another day for most people living in Elk Grove Village. But for one neighborhood, approximately 55 families quietly packed their bags and left for good, never to return. The entire rural fire district would be dissolved. For some children, it would be the last time they would ever see their friends from school. Neighbors who knew each other for decades would never see each other again. But why? Our story starts in Elk Grove Village, Illinois, home to the largest industrial park in the entire United States. Sitting in the middle of everything is one of the last non-industrial plots of land, a neighborhood by the name of Rapolo Drive. It's completely surrounded on all four sides by industrial buildings. I've known for years that this would happen. According to Don Jablonski, since 2008, village leaders have been eyeing this unincorporated neighborhood to annex it, but it's been much longer than that. A corporation is legally not allowed to force you to leave, so what they do is they ask the city to annex the land. If the city annexes an unincorporated neighborhood, the city controls it. A staggering 60 developers have already asked the city to take over the land over the years, but the residents tried to fight it and fought it they did. In 2020, the same warehouse corporation that demolished the Mohawk Terrace subdivision, only five minutes away, backed out of a warehouse buyout after residents cited a 1957 land covenant that states only single-family homes could be built in the subdivision. Let's fast forward to today. The corporations controlling the Internet of Things has exponentially grown. Things such as AI, smartphones, and data as a whole has expanded to a monstrous size. In comes Stream Data Center, a developer that builds data storage warehouses for all the tech giants. They were able to do what others couldn't. They bought each home for around $1 million. But $1 million isn't always a happy ending. Over half the residents never wanted to sell. They just got tired of fighting, tired of sleepless nights. Why would I update my home if one day my home might be destroyed? Why would I expand my business if I'd have to suddenly get up and leave? This is what I was told by residents, many of whom worked in the trades and operated businesses outside of their own homes. The firefighters here were especially unhappy. Their entire district lived in one neighborhood. When they left, the Rural Fire Protection District would be dissolved. So we're currently on Landmire and Bussy Road right now. It's uh, currently February the 15th, 2024. And um, I was gonna go to this neighborhood two weeks ago and I kept, kept missing my deadline. This is my brand new camera that I just bought. And right now there's currently workers there I don't know what's gonna happen or what we're gonna do. I'll just kind of show you guys around. So this is the only holdout right up here, this uh, Robax truck company. But as you can see, they've got the excavator set up right here. And um, all the houses are now fenced off. This happened about a week ago. They're about to get ready. Oh my gosh, they started, looks like they maybe started cutting trees down. Look at this. Holy. Yeah, we are going to have to film this as soon as possible, but I don't know about today. Let's see. We're gonna, we're just gonna, we're just gonna go up in here. Um, I don't think anybody's gonna yell at us. Right there. So you can see right over there, they're, they're doing some work here. Um, but it's just right there, it looks like. So we might be able to film a lot of this regardless. I think that's what we're gonna do here. Yep. Let's do that, let's, let's do that. You can see, check this house out. It still has solar panels on it. I am shocked. Actually, it looks like they're in the process of removing them. Okay, I could be wrong then. 
I've been looking at that house for so long. Like, why haven't they taken their solar panels off? Looks like they are finally. So we're gonna go park up on this uh, warehouse right now. Um, and all this land right here will become a warehouse too. But it should be a safe spot to park. So when a lot of these neighborhoods get bought out, what they'll do is they'll sell every single thing they can from the houses. And in a lot of the cases, at least on this road, they sold the garage door for this house and a couple other houses here. There's actually one right there if you want to look at that. But yeah, a lot of the stuff got sold off, but also in some of these houses, they left a ton of stuff behind. It's absurd. Let's start looking at it. So here we are, guys. We got a uh, fence implemented. Yeah, this, this happened about a week ago. And uh, you can see they still got their Christmas ornaments. A lot of these homes were abandoned around, I would say, December 2023 to um, as much as a couple weeks ago. But let's keep walking. A lot of these houses are really nice. Uh, what do we have here? That was a uh, Trump flag. And uh, you got a Pritzker suck sign right there. Um, yeah, a lot of these guys here were working class people. They were all in the trades and, um, you know, they had all different political ideas, I'm sure. But here's one of the houses. More into that later. As you can see, the grass is only just starting to get overgrown. Like I said, people left this neighborhood very recently. And it's gonna be gone very quick. Maybe because of people like me, maybe because they wanna get the job done. I think these were from excavators. I could be wrong. This one house here in the middle was owned by a firefighter and they had a family and um, they really put signs all over their house. Maybe because they want to still get their solar panels, but as far as I'm concerned, this home has long been sold off. Every home here has except one. You can see in the background there, there's this mansion. There's a whole nother separate street that's a part of this that was built way before everything else here. This mansion back here dates back to 1891. It's one of the oldest houses in the entire neighborhood. Years ago, this mansion was gonna be demolished, so they moved it here to save it. You can see right now the utility workers doing some work. Those guys are busy. Don't wanna bother them. Maybe when we're done filming some of this stuff, we could talk to them, I don't know. We'll have to see. But more, every time I come here, more and more stuff gets placed around. Oh, that fence is actually open. You can see the mailbox is going here. But yeah, they still got solar panels on their, their house. It's crazy. I've gone here for two years, two whole years, and talked to people and walked around the neighborhood and everything. So just about every single one of these houses i knew something about the person or i talked to them before they were gone absolutely crazy so i'll explain a story for every single house here that i know and we'll start with this one back here so this house right here we um we saw fu signs they removed them but the people here were so upset about the whole situation that um, they, they made giant signs all, all in their house, um, basically saying F you to the people that bought their homes. There's a big controversy about the firefighters. Um, I'll get into that later or before in the video. But this one, I don't know if we could uh, check out or not. We'll have to see. Still got their old bicycling. Oh, the door is wide open. Well, what did you know? Let's check this out. I've never actually been in here. I've been checking this place out for, for a couple weeks now. And this seems relatively empty, I would say. They really tried to uh, secure this house for the longest time. One of the most secure ones in the neighborhood, I'd say. 
there's a couple things here and there left behind. But yeah, a firefighter lived here with his family and they were especially upset about the whole situation. I tried knocking on their door so many times and they never answered. So here's all the things they basically just didn't need, I guess. Uh, and they took the rest. And here you could see what they salvaged, pretty much their entire kitchen. A little fireplace here too. All open now. Water bottles in the corner. Check out this bathroom though. Very nice bathroom. Very nice. A lot of these homes are smaller, and some of them are bigger than they look inside. But a lot of them, they spent a lot of money on these homes. But they definitely got their money's worth. Here's the sunroom. So basically, uh, every house is open now. They had a pool here too. Nice playground. There were a lot of kids living here with their families. A lot of families here. There's somebody right up there. Let's go see. Let's go see what they have to say. Did you guys used to live here? Yeah. Yeah? W would you guys be interested in an uh, interview? In my two years of coming here, not one single person wanted to be on camera for an interview. Most of them were too upset. They really fought hard for this neighborhood. Yo, are you in here? Yo. I don't know where my friend went. I just kind of dipped out on him. So this is my friend Daniel. I forgot to introduce him. Hopefully he'll start a channel one day, but um, basically there's people back there and uh, I talked to them. They used to live at one of the houses, but oh, yeah. yeah, but they weren't interested in an interview. So um, yeah, let's keep looking around. You would see all the guys kind of walking around. Those, yeah, those are the people. Um, but uh, I kind of want to show some of the houses with everything left behind. I haven't even shown you that neighborhood back there. So let's, uh, let's go back there first. Yeah. Yeah, so they got a whole whole fleet going on right now. Whole convoy of trucks. Uh, we, we will go to this part when they leave, probably. I don't know how long they're gonna be doing work, but I'm assuming they're not they're not gonna be here until maybe three they'll leave. So we will have some time to check out these houses. There's a big mansion out here I wanna show you guys. But uh, gosh, I knew just about everybody that lived here. But yeah, there's a second neighborhood here. You'll see the mansion up ahead. Look at this, you guys. This was built in 1891. 1891. A lot of other unique houses on this road. You'll see up ahead, the road is, is much different than, than this side of the neighborhood. A lot of older or custom built houses. But here's the mansion and a, a bunch of other houses. There's actually an abandoned RV up ahead, you'll see. They left that behind. These houses were abandoned long before the neighborhood was. When I came here two years ago, they were already abandoned. There was actually a Pontiac in front of that one. But let's take a look at this mansion, you guys. You're gonna love the inside, it's crazy. So they just updated this place. It's been here since the 1800s and they updated it really nicely and they had to go. As you can see. I mean, it's so clean in here. And all that's not clean anymore because of all the demolition workers' footprints. I thought I heard something, but it could be the wind. So yeah, these rooms are empty. There's one, there's one room right here with a bed. And then I wanna show you guys the third floor and the view of the whole neighborhood. And then we'll get to some of the houses with everything left behind. So someone broke the freaking glass here. That's new. Um, but here's the upstairs. It's very nice.
There was literally glass falling just as I started recording. So this might have happened like even today, I have no idea. But guys, this is the street I haven't showed you yet. I think it's safe to walk out on here. Just absolutely crazy view. Straight out of the apocalypse. And guys, there's even more right there. There's another way out I'll show you, show the rest of those homes, but they just fenced this off about three days ago, this side of the everything. But yeah, that RV was abandoned with that house back in the day, but somebody took the El Camino. There's an El Camino there, that's what I meant. Yep, this is abandoned too. There was a safe? Oh, I didn't even know that was there. That had to have been the demo workers. Huh, you know, we never looked in here. I wonder if there was anything ever inside. See, it fell on the glass. There's another pane that's still not broken. But anyways, guys, let's go outside. Here's kind of a view of everything. Can't get over this house though. It looks small on the uh, outside, but it's really pretty big. I really want to show you guys everything that's uh, left behind in some of these houses. So let's get to some of those. It's actually a couple houses. Um, this one has everything left behind, and there's one up there. Let's go. Let's go to this little small house right here, actually. Oh, and another thing I'm not sure about. So there's a business actually at the end of this street, and. I don't know if they're gonna leave or not because they have so much equipment and they're still working even today. So I couldn't tell you what they're gonna do here with this business. I didn't even notice this house until recently. I thought it was a shed because it was so small, but it's a very nice house. They removed the TV, but they left most everything behind. Look, there's even a whole computer set up here. It's quite an old one. All this stuff, memories. So many memories. These people had kids too, it looks like. There's even still clothes. Oh my gosh. I wonder how many more. They got weights down there. More clothes in the drawers. Al Pacino Scarface. You see anything in that one? Some clothes. So here we got some really modern uh, washing machines. I'd like one of those. Oh, there it actually looks nasty inside there. Decent setup of a house. Here's their bathroom. Yeah, this is all it is to the house. They even made a little bit of space here. You know, they really used everything they could with what they had. You can see the date, 2023. And the second was marked and nothing else. So they left November, 2023. Got some old firefighter and police officer figures. You'll notice this house is kind of unique. Um, they have Walmart doors on their house. Check out this abandoned RV. Let's see what's inside. Lots of junk. Cool TV set up here. They even had a bed. I almost guess that 
somebody lived in this RV at the abandoned house instead of the house. Because the house is so decrepit and they just decided to live here, which is crazy. So this would be considered a house too, I suppose. Decent setup though. I really wonder what the story of this RV is and why it was left behind. But they took the rest of the cars. Oh, dude. Oh, I thought, th is that a motorcycle helmet? No, that's, that's a fake motorcycle helmet. What the heck? I was excited for a second. I've been told you can take stuff. Everybody who's been working here, all the previous residents have been taking stuff. So I think everything's kind of up for grabs here, which is kind of unique. So guys, the people that lived here also left everything behind. And I think they threw a party here inside. Let's, uh, let me show you around. So as soon as you walk in, I see shoes. So if you look in the basement here, all the basements of this house are flooded. You can see they got couches and all this stuff. Let's go upstairs though. Someone egged it? Oh, I see that. Disgusting. See the clothes. A lot of clothes. Let me tell you see all this. It's been ransacked since last time. But everything was left behind here. They put little things over the doors and stuff so you can't see inside, but people kept taking them off. There's a bunch of food here. If this was sitting for a little bit longer, I mean, it would really start to smell bad in here. There's speakers. There's actually another big speaker sitting right here that somebody stole. So. There's an iPhone. Oh. Yeah, that's gotta be just the box. But, still got all their dishes and everything. So this might be one of the sadder parts here. This is a baby's crib. Whenever the kid grows up, Hopefully he'll see the video, he or she. Whenever the kid grows up, hopefully he or she will see the video. See their old house. Well, the people that lived here were in fact Mexicans. My assumption was correct. Because <laughs> I see a sombrero. I'm assuming. Yeah, so see what they did on the door here. I don't know why they bother doing that when it's being sold off to a developer. Even here, there's stuff on the windows. I don't get it. But yeah, it looks like here was the last party they ever had. They had a little party. They got a, around a million dollars for this house, believe it or not, something like that. Each house got around a million. Some of these people just didn't care. Some of them wanted extra money. That's really gross. Somebody, oh, that's why it smells bad. Yep, we're close, but <laughs> I'm getting out of that room. Here's uh, one of these homes. This was built in the 2000s. It was owned by a landscaper. This whole street was mainly landscapers. People a little bit different than the neighborhood behind it, if that makes sense. These people were doing mostly landscaping. And they left trailers behind, which I think is, is really cool. And a, a nice lawnmower. Is he going back there? I don't know. Oh, I see what he's doing. Let's get, let's get out of his way. This, this way.
Yes, all those rocks there. That guy's putting down all these rocks for some reason, I think. So the excavators have easy access to, to go around. <laughs> We're on an active work site technically, I guess. Okay, so while we're here, let's go to the, this uh, modernized farmhouse. Basement's flooded again. This whole house is empty. As you can see. Yo, he's dropping all the rocks. Yo, Daniel. I'm gonna go and get some footage of that guy dropping rocks. This house is empty, guys, by the way. Let's do a real quick little explore. So this is like, wait. So this is like two houses connected to each other. Here's the second part. I think they rented it. You know, kind of nicer, updated, et cetera, but nothing in here, so let's go out here. So what they did to this house, they salvaged all the windows. That's why it looks the way it does. They boarded it off quickly. There's, a, there's another mansion, I have a big story behind that one. And the guy across the street, he looked like, uh, he seemed to be like a hippie or something, but he asked me to take his scrap metal out. I don't know, there's a bunch of catchers in there, dream catchers, that's why I say that, no offense to the guy. Um, but yeah, let's take a look in here while we're here. So yeah, they even put boards on the garage or something. This is the only way in here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's workers behind me, but it's pretty chill. Wow. It started to decay already. So... The windows are boarded and that's it. So there's been a lot of exposure to the elements regardless. So already the paint is peeling off of this house. It wasn't like this even a week ago. You got a giant flat screen in there. These people made some good money for sure. And off their windows. Somebody was gonna buy them. Oh, look at that, that's nice. Kind of a beautiful house, too bad it's empty, right? I'm sure you guys don't want to see too much. I, I just want to give a quick, quick tour of each house for you know some of the people that used to live here. So the date here on this calendar says October 2023. There's a basement, but you can see that's full of water too. Here's the house right next to the farm looking house. Let's go see what's inside of here. They dug holes in all the backyards if you'll notice because there's a septic tank in each and every one of them. Jeez, watch that door, huh? Here's the sunroom for the house. Let's take a quick look inside. This is the garage. Barely boarded off. Here's the inside of this house. Actually kind of like the layout of everything. You can see how that's flooded with really black water. Smells terrible, so it's probably sewage back up. This one's pretty empty, though. The doors here are new. Uh, the bathroom's new. Very nice bathroom. Kitchen's a little bit outdated. Calendar says September 2023. Kind of a cool little house. I was a lot bigger than I expected. So I'm kind of debating on the idea on whether I should do a quick walkthrough, a full walkthrough of every house. 
all depends on what you guys were, would be interested in. You know, I feel like you guys would want a really long walk through, so maybe I should, but some of these houses, there ain't too much left behind. But anyways, a story about this house. So anyways, the story about this house, the guy uh, I met of this house kept getting mail here even after his house was sold. I feel like that might be a problem for multiple people, but yeah, the uh, he's still probably getting mail here for all I know. I actually, I have another story too, I'll, show, I'll tell you guys. Whoa. So they in fact left a lot behind. This just flooded. I've never been in this one because it was always locked. Oh my gosh, he left all his tools. He was an old guy, an old white guy. Very sad. He just left his whole life behind here. At least his working life. So the demo workers haven't broken through here yet, but if you actually look up uh, on the other side of the house, not terribly too much. So I'm gonna stay on this side of the street for now as there's still workers in the fancier part of the neighborhood. But like I said, I got a story for all these homes, so let's, uh, let's continue. So here's the name of the owners of this house right here. Guess what year this was built? 2000. This house was built in the 2000s, it's about to be wrecked. That was 24 years ago, which doesn't seem like a long time. So the way inside this way is uh, all fenced off. So this is the way we're going and we're gonna check this house out first on this side of the street. Very nice home, somebody went raging here recently. A little bit of an older kitchen. Holy basement. So they had a punching bag, some other stuff. This all flooded within the week it went abandoned. Man, that gym equipment, I want that. Ah, uh, shame. That's really deeply flooded though, probably up to, to my waist. This is the room right next to the kitchen. Couch and a vacuum cleaner. Thermostat's still on. That's typical, they're usually battery operated. Upstairs we go. Here we have an old uh, setup. Left the monitors at least. Currently above the room overlooking the garage. Wouldn't you have it? They left behind computers. E scrap for anybody. Just kidding. I'll f I'm gonna upload this when the whole neighborhood's gone. Cool little wardrobe or closet, whatever. <laughs> Did not say that right. So for this house too, they blocked off a lot of the windows. I guess they were instructed to before they left to prevent crime maybe. But you know, this is gonna be gone so quick compared to the other neighborhoods I'm going to film and have filmed. So I don't know why they care. Somebody pinned up 250 pesos on the wall here. How much is that? I'm not too sure. I kind of want that, but I don't know what that means. And I'm probably, well, I might go to Mexico, but nothing interesting to explore there. And unless you guys have something, let me know. 250 pesos, guys, what's that worth? I haven't even looked at this room and I think somebody's squatting in here already. I could be wrong, but this is uh, not something I saw before. Big pile of clothes. We are right by the airport. It's possible. I haven't checked out the garage yet, so here's a garage for you guys. Uh, just scraps. Scraps of what used to be here. Remnants. Right, high vis and some nice worker boots. Definitely a landscaper. 
Here we got this guy's house. He gave me a call asking to pick up all his uh, motorcycles and scrap metal. And unfortunately, I never got to doing that. Um, I was, I don't know what I was doing, and I wasn't even busy, but I missed the opportunity. So everything from this house is mostly gone, but let's see the remnants inside here. Oh wow, they dug a hole right, right through their porch, or whatever, deck. So here's the basement. Ooh, not showing Playboy. Um, but the, this guy left a decent amount. So I guess he liked motocross and uh, maybe he was a Native American. There was some dream catchers in here if I recall. Look at the clothes they left. But here's the upstairs. Somebody in here? Hello? Oh my gosh, there's a squirrel. Yo! Daniel, take, get a video of this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Holy Rick. shit. Jeez. Here oh. oh my god. How? How? Well, anyways, resuming. Uh, that's wild. So yeah, um, some kind of motocross stuff on the wall. It's kind of like my grandpa. Some video games or whatever. And here's what I mean by the dream catchers, because look at this. Here's the bathroom. Decent with the skylight. Look at through all that stuff. Oh, that is a nice knife. Yeah. Look at that. Is it open? Ooh, might want that, huh? Yeah, take that with you. <laughs> Left a little bit of his clothes, but otherwise not too much. Wait, so there's a, is that a phone? Or is that just a phone case? No, just uh, a case. Explorers, here's some of the remnants. They've got uh, some pickles and olive oil, some plants. Look what I just found, some very, very primitive touchscreen technology. I have no idea what this is, palm. You guys know what a, a palm is? I have no idea. I like it though. So there's uh, two other houses there that, um, they're empty and I don't think there's any way, easy way in there. And yeah, see there's like a fence blocking there and there's a fence blocking the actual driveway. I've, I've been there though and uh, both of these houses are empty, but I'll show you the front of them. So here's the long abandoned house. Like I said, this has been abandoned longer than the rest of them. I believe it was a remodel. The floor is actually caving in. Right there it's caving in. Daniel, be careful, like, walk to the left. This is all empty. It was winterized prior. There's a Mexican no smoking sign. Cool little house. There ain't much in here. Uh, yeah, and they threw all the junk into this one room. So this home here has been also boarded up alongside the other one. I have no idea what's inside here, I kind of forgot. I think it's empty. Let's take a look. Here's the garage. Oh, okay, so they salvaged, they salvaged the garage. That's the whole deal with the boards, I think. So this one is nicer. Okay. Actually, a lot nicer than I thought it was. That's why it's boarded up. See, they salvaged the windows. There's actually some food here. Oh. No, I remember it. There was some stuff in here. Oh my. This is a chill spot right here. Here they boarded up a whole room for some reason. And there might be homeless people in here for all I know. What the heck is that? So this is the part that was blocked off oddly. I don't know what we're gonna expect. There's a huge knife there. Is anybody in here? 
There's no way somebody's in here. Oh my gosh, somebody might actually be living in here. That's crazy. This has been abandoned for only like a month. You know what? I don't want to be in here. Yeah, someone was staying here. There's poop napkins on the floor. There's like pee bottles. All that? Yeah. Yeah. Some old records. Anything of value? Uh, I don't think so. Hmm. Also, check that out. There's a cross there. Definitely Mexican Catholics that lived here. Is what I can uh, assume. And there's a big bank sign here. I think that's pretty unique. They had their very own. Had their very own little fire pit set up. It's pretty cool. Lots of bonfires and coronas with the family or people that lived here. Last house right here. I don't know what's inside here either, I forgot. So it smells like straight manure here. Either that this is manure or there's straight up a septic tank that they dug out here and didn't do a good job of, which is probably the case. Whew. Okay, nice floors. Actually, I have not been in here because this is so close to that other business. So decent house. Look at those pillars, I like those. What do you hear? Like a bag rustling. A bag, well it's probably the wind, I would assume. Whoa, this, this is nice. Granite countertops. Oh yeah, cause there's, there's this. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this, this is a nice house actually. Yeah. Updated I would say. This is the Walmart house I call it because look at the, look at this. These are Walmart doors right in front of me. I'll show you in a sec. Another landscaper by the looks of it. You can see the, the big blocks held for mulch. And here we go, we got a good way inside. I'm sure the door actually opens. Huh, okay, locked. So they did the same thing, blocked off all the windows. I'm gonna assume this is empty. Yup, totally stripped. Down to the bare bone. Well, almost, they still got the walls. Uh, yeah, here's like the remains of the cupboards and stuff. Nothing much here. Got some cool little drawers back there. But yeah, I thought this was really creative what they did with the house. These are literally from a storefront. Probably a demolished storefront and they put these here. So if you break the glass at a store, this is what happens. Even though it's a house. Garage is also empty, by the way. But yeah, here's the uh, here's the Walmart house. So we're pretty much finished filming the entirety of, entirety of what I'm gonna call the Mexican street. A lot of Mexicans lived on it, I would assume. A lot of landscaping companies and a lot of working guys and families. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna go to the, I, I would say 1950s part of the neighborhood next. Uh, I'm curious if the workers have left. I don't know if they have. Well, we're gonna go check that out. It's really a shame though, you know, the, the, um, this is gonna be the last documentation ever of this neighborhood. I told a couple friends about it, otherwise nobody would have known but me. But uh, a couple friends are probably gonna be filming this and posting this too, but uh, I'd like to do a proper documentation. I don't know what they're gonna film. So what's interesting here, uh, it says stop work, which is so strange. Of course the buildings are dangerous, why would they say stop work? This is probably demolition work, you know? I don't know. Very strange, but it looks like they're continuing work regardless. There are some dump trucks here. I don't know if they were for that business down there or not. So I really wanted to film this mansion here. And if you want to know why, because I know everything about it. Um, and it's one of the coolest houses in the neighborhood. So there is, um, let's see. We, we gotta see first if all the workers are gone so they don't uh, bother us or we don't bother them. Let's see, we'll see in a second here. Looks to me like all the workers have stopped work today, which is great, now we can continue with this neighborhood. So the mansion right behind me, 
the guy who lived here was um, some kind of, uh, I think, bricklayer, if I'm uh, not wrong. And he, I don't think he ever formally lived in here, but he built it himself, and uh, it's very nice inside. He planned on selling it, and uh, it's since fallen into disrepair, at least the outside, because of this, this buyout. It's been so fierce that it's been going on for over five years now, which is why a lot of people stop taking care of their properties. It's very sad being uncertain about something. But this guy got uh, quite a bit of money. Everybody did, but they're very sad about the situation. I met this guy once two years ago and then once very recently. And uh, he agreed to an interview. He got my number down if he wants to do it or not. I don't know. The interview will be in here if he ever does. But here's the house and it's, gr it's really cool inside. So I met the guy right here like a couple days ago. And um, I never noticed, but there was a basement here he pointed out to me. He said this is where he did all his work. This is the only entrance to the garage. And it's flooded, of course. Secret trap door. But let's take you through this mansion here. It's a pretty, pretty cool mansion. The fact that he built it and tried to sell it, man. You know, there was probably a house that was sitting over here prior and they tore it down. And then they're going to tear this down again. Many such cases. So here's the main living room. Very nice recliner here and brickwork or stonework. I wonder if those are real or not. Probably they are real. But here's how tall it is. So this is a two-door style house. I didn't know that front door ever opened. Interesting. You can see the beautiful skylights and such. So there were stairs here and they removed them since for some reason. So we gotta get up through using a ladder. The upstairs is pretty cool, though it is empty. Oh yeah. Here we go. Double fireplace. Such a beautiful house. This guy put a lot of work into it. There's the hall. You go here, here's the bathroom. Beautiful skylight. Man, it's crazy to imagine this tub might have never been used. Quick little walk through. There's not too much. The bathrooms are pretty nice and this is just a nice house in general. The reason I like empty mansions is because it's still crazy to imagine that such a nice house is gonna be demolished. And it's crazy to think, you know, the shape that it's in before it is demolished. That's the way I see it. That's why I like places even if there's nothing left behind. I mean, this is a nice house, man. One of the nicest houses on the block in the entire neighborhood. So we just explored about maybe 25 houses, maybe 20. So we have 55 minus 25 or 20, 55 minus 25, let's say 30. We got 30 more houses to check out and these ones are gonna get cooler, at least more modern. And there's a lot more stuff left behind. I'll show you guys, I'll show you guys, but the view, never get something like this. Imagine living in a house like this, amazing. So we found the culprit of whoever's driving behind people's lawns. Well, we'll go talk to these guys. I'm gonna put the camera down. Or maybe not, it looks like they're, I don't know what they're doing. Exactly. Yeah, I went to go get new batteries. That's why I'm walking back to where we started. Actually, I think they were gonna take some stuff. I don't know, it looked like it was a guy and a girl. Very nice truck. Could have been previous residents. Over the past uh, four weeks, I've seen so many of the previous residents just come back here. Guys, this next house is gonna be pretty cool. They uh, left everything behind, everything. I was gonna get to it uh, at the beginning, but uh, all these uh, workers were literally right in front of it. I'll show you guys in a sec. All right, so I'm trying to film this place and uh, there's, somebody just came back. Strange. We'll see what they're saying. But yeah, this is the place right here, up at front. Thank <laughs> you. 
So this is the house right here. You're gonna be amazed. Check this out. They, I can't, I, I can't believe it. I mean, every, everything's left behind. I don't know what happened. I mean, when I was here for two years, just kind of driving around trying to talk to people, um, nobody w was ever living here. There wasn't even a car in the driveway. So I don't know if whoever here uh, lived here passed away. I don't know the deal. But this is just crazy. There's a birthday thing up there. I wonder what that's all about. Nine, huh? The little kid that lived here, I guess, maybe. Actually, yes, there was, because look at this room. This looks like a family member's room of, room of mine with these vines growing. Fake vines. We got a bed that's been overturned. People really kind of messed up on, messed up this place looking for valuables. I'm sure all that stuff's fake. But yeah, I mean, this is full of stuff. Like, this is little girl's clothes. I don't, I don't get it. It's very sad. I don't know what went on here. But all, all this stuff, man. This is somebody's life. So probably, you know, man. I hope whoever used to live here can, can watch it. Well, assuming they don't get sad. Here's kind of the kitchen. If you heard that, the, uh, actually haven't been down here, but basement's flooded, but I just heard a smoke alarm. It's actually not that badly flooded. Holy, look at that bar. That is an incredible bar. And look, they put everything on top. That's so weird. Like they knew it was gonna flood or something. Or maybe not, that's full of junk. That's so strange. Okay, yeah, this is so strange. Look, it says 2014 here. Oh my gosh, so this was abandoned in the, I think whoever lived here passed away, unfortunately. And they knew they were gonna get bought out. So they just left the house here with everything. Oh my gosh, everything left behind. They just never did anything with, with it because they didn't need to. Unreal. So here's the photos of whoever lived here. Very sad. I don't know what happened here, dude. Oh my gosh. What do you see back there? old photos NBA 1996 that hat might be worth something like legitimately everything was was left here um, there must have been a man in the house oh never mind girls use razors too I forgot <laughs> probably more than guys uh, there's the bath this has been sitting for a while dude I actually think this has been sitting for a while. Oh my goodness. This was not this ransacked. Somebody came in here and ransacked the entire house. This was the living room. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is so sad. Like what in the world happened here? So much stuff to look through. Yeah. It's all just decorations, you know? But this was somebody's life here. I mean, who knows what this used to look like, you know? I think it was it was totally sitting abandoned when I came here, when everyone lived here. And, oh my gosh, 
It's another like little girl's room or something. They were definitely, okay, that looks like Korean. Could be wrong. You can kind of tell after a while speaking to different kinds of people that it might be Korean. Um, oh my gosh. Everything, everything's left. Unbelievable. And it's trash too, sadly. So this is odd. So this was a shower. They put their clothes here. It's a very old book right there, probably from the 1800s. Wow. But here's all the um, utensils and everything. The sink. We got some more photos here. These these look like different people. There's a you saw a Filipino lady or something, and then there's some uh, different people. That's weird. Uh, I'm trying to just get together the story here. That's all. They were Christian, as you could see. Christian family. I don't know what happened here, dude. And maybe I shouldn't know. Oh. You don't have to look through the fridge. Well, they clear it was full of stuff at some point, but they cleared it out. Ooh. But yeah, here's that room I walked in on again. And there's a garage full of stuff too. Oh my gosh. These are the shoes. They're small and some big ones. Oh my gosh. Okay, they definitely never had a car in here, I don't think. It's just full of junk still. There's the old American flag. I think that's what it is. Nope. I could be wrong. I think I'm wrong. I'm definitely wrong about that. Don't. I forgot what flag that is, though. Oh, my. Little, sh little kid shoes. Books, everything just discarded. I don't know what happened here. I don't know. There's definitely a man that, that lived here at some point because there's a bunch of tools. Could be a woman, but most likely a guy. I don't know. What in the world? Like, uh, yeah, they got bought out, but what else, you know? Yeah, I mean, def Why'd they leave definitely did happen for them to leave quite literally everything. Yeah. I really couldn't tell you this. Maybe a divorce. This is nuts. I don't know. All right, so we're back out. Um, there's two more houses right there and there that we're going to check out. And uh, then we'll get to the main part of the neighborhood. So there's, yeah, two houses. This one's pretty impressive. It's got a pool. And there's this one right here. I'll tell you guys a little bit about that in a second. So check this out. Look, first off, they had a huge radio tower in the background. But so this is a um, fancy looking house. And it gets cooler, trust me. So there's actually a pool hidden behind this wall. Look at that, big TV. But yeah, there's a pool. And this has been sitting for a while too. Look at the fans. They threw everything inside their pool. I don't know why. Maybe to piss off the developers. I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Maybe it's the only valid place to throw stuff. Or the workers did it. I have no idea. Well, hopefully this is unlocked. I think it is. It's weird that the, oh, they salvaged the garage mechanism. That's why the garage is falling in like that. Um, but yeah, let's go see what's inside. So yeah, this is empty. I th Somebody actually might have died in here because there is carpet removed. There's a big stain right there. Oh my gosh, yeah, you know, I think somebody died. I just realized that, oh my gosh, I was sitting in that chair like a week ago. So the reason I say somebody might have died here is because um, I just went to uh, a buddy of mine's house that he bought. He's in real estate and 
they just cleaned out a, a, a dead body and, and the floor is pretty similar to this. And I just, I just realized that now it's a terrible thing and I'm, I'm so sorry for the family. That's probably why it's cleared. That totally makes sense to me now, but yeah. Or who knows, maybe I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong, but the facts and the evidence, right? I don't know. Anyways, danger, no steps. Something happened here where there's no steps. The basement's obviously flooded. They were actually pumping this out uh, a week ago. It's probably full of water again. This house is pretty nice though. Yep, they, sal they salvaged the windows and put boards over the doors. You can see it from the road actually, which is why I assume people started coming over here. Who is that? Gang scrap. <laughs> what? <laughs> Kids, man. Well, somebody's been here. They salvaged everything they could, I think. Some of these ribs are nice though, look. Look at this. Okay, first off, look at this. Big piano room. I like it. More taken doors. I'm guessing the doors here and the windows were modern, which is why they're still able to be resold today. But look at this. Look at this amazing wall. Cool, very fancy. You know, if I had a mansion, this would be in it. Bathroom. I'm gonna take a guess that this house was built in the 70s. I'm not sure though, I didn't do much research. But it looks like it. Maybe a ranch home that's like customized. That's what I would call this. All right, so down to this house here. We're right by the road. I was hoping there were signs here that would say the name of the neighborhood, but I don't know actually the name of it. I will find it out, but um, maybe there never were signs, I don't know. But Mohawk Terrace had the same kind of things here, said Mohawk Terrace. Anyways, this house right here, so I talked to the guy, right? He was an old white guy, that's what I could tell you what he looked like, um, but he did not tell me much of interest. Let's go check out the house, you can see put boards over the garage, I don't know. The garage got stuck, it looks like, when they tried to sell the mechanism for it. And they sold off the doors. That's not creepy at all. Okay. Oh, I thought I heard something. Wait, is the basement not flooded? There's no way. There's no way. It's not flooded. Okay, this is the first basement. That's, okay. Definitely was flooded and they pumped it out. But cool, we get to explore a basement. That's something on my list for this neighborhood, I guess, to check out one of the basements. But this one's so ugly and not, not worth checking out, so. Forget this. This seems to be everything they left. There's what it looks like from the inside. I uh, don't remember if this guy left anything behind. I'll tell you though, the house is decent. No, he, he sold off most of his stuff for sure. It's one door locked. No homeless people. So we're back into the main part. Now we're going deeper into the neighborhood and I can tell you the homes further down, I'll show you later, are super updated, super modern looking. And it's such a shame they're gonna go. But we're gonna start with these homes right here, make our way down and uh, yeah. If there's stuff, then I'll show more. If there's nothing, then I'll kinda keep it at a minimum. I actually, I know this guy too. Okay, so this guy right here, this was full of cars. There was a big van too. They were all abandoned and they offered to buy the cars. And uh, he said he was scrapping them himself, I think. Yeah, the guy that lived here, an old, uh, another old white dude. Uh, cool guy. Okay, we're gonna have to go through the front, I think. I don't know if I, or no, 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 this door should be open, I think. Right here. This guy, I think he left everything behind too. We'll have to see. Let's see if that's open. Yep. Oh yeah, he left a decent amount of stuff actually. 
Uh, flashlight it up using the lights all flashlight. This is a different one than I had earlier in the video because my other one died. Amazing flashlight. Y'all gotta y'all gotta buy this. But here we go. There's a baby's chair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, I don't know. So this guy, this guy got a lot of money. He could afford to lose every, you know, let leave some of this stuff and buy new stuff, right? <sighs> January 2024 is when he left. Yep, I talked to him. January 2024. That's the last time I talked to the guy. This was that was the last day he was here. <sighs> You think a squatter's been here? Oh. Oh, this was like that before. He might have had younger family members staying over, I think. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, yeah. This was a kid's room. Dang. Whoa. Yeah, a ton of clothes. Not that much, but... Oh wow, all this old technology. You got some cameras. Oh, that's cool. You're This is my camera guy right here. He knows everything about cameras. What can you tell me about those? Uh, it's just a Kodak. Cheap little just Trying things. to keep up with the times when everyone uh, switched to digital. Yeah. Next up, this house right here. Actually, look at that. Two sides of the house. I think this was rented out, but I can't be certain. Could have been just two entrances. This is crazy though, they left a really nice boat trailer. Free to take, actually. I don't know, I don't have a boat so I don't need it. And I just lost my storage space, so. A lot of stuff in here. Oh yeah, this, this house had was full of stuff too, I remember. Full of stuff, full of clothes. But this was all maybe less needed stuff. I, I also think, you know, what if, uh, those are full by the way. I also think that, uh, I forgot, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> But yeah, this stuff isn't that important, that's what I was gonna say. It's important, but if you're getting a, a million freaking dollars, is it really that important? I don't know. Look what they did there, so December 21. There's the basement. There's some burgers all over the floor. Who did that? Oh my gosh. There's 40 uh, chicken, or beef burgers from mcdonald's down there who did that anyways check out this room they got a tv big setup uh yeah pretty cool yeah they they left food here i don't know if i ever talked to these guys um i can't tell you much about their situation got some seed oils uh a bunch of just stuff nothing too important you drank the Tito's. It's gone. What do you got here? Some junk. Some junk. Um, okay, this is cool though. Yeah, somebody ransacked this. This was pristine last time. Hate to say it. This, you know, this is why I try to be in such a hurry to film my videos day wise. Because two weeks ago when I was ready to film, it would have been a lot nicer in these houses. But hey, it happens. Not, you know, just the, the non-necessities here, I would say. All right, next house, this is right across the street from the other ones. I actually don't know if I've ever been inside here. I believe there's a trailer parked out here, which is why I didn't uh, bother messing with it. Yo, look at these dump trucks. This is going to be an insane earth-moving project that's going to take place here. Oh my gosh, they already destroyed something, I think. Oh my gosh, yeah, this, this does not have very long, this whole neighborhood. Man, this makes me so sad. I wasted probably $1,000 worth of gas money to, to, to go up and down, talk with people, check in, etc. Okay, yeah, this opens. So this is a, this cool room. 
So I, I thought this was grass for a second. I've been here before. So th this is cool. Oh yeah, let's uh, take this fireplace blocker out. Let's show you what's actually, what it actually is. It's an old stolen sign. <laughs> I didn't realize that until uh, recently. Let's see what's going on back here. Basement, anything in there? No, just flooded. Okay. Yeah, we got another empty house here. I don't know much about the guy who lived here or gal or family. It's empty, but hey, if you guys are watching this, I'm giving you a tour of your old house now. I hope that you guys, you know, somebody who used to live here is watching this and can look back on, the, on their old neighborhood. Bathroom here is kind of unique. It's outdated, obviously. It's kind of cool. What is this, 2000s or even 90s? So one of these two houses, I think a Mexican family lived in. I forgot which one. Oh, look at that. Um, but this V that's in front of the house came later. So uh, mad resident, I don't even know what that means. Mad resident drew, drew a V. Somebody drew a V. Secured by AD, ADT, not any longer. Here we go. Decent house. There's a flooded basement. Pull of stuff. Oh, shoot. There is stuff here. Yeah, another working man like me. I like working on stuff, I just don't post it that much. Look at that. Oh, they had a rug going down there. This one, I would say is empty. I'm gonna take a real quick look. Yeah. We got a bunch of stuff here that they didn't want to move out or scrap. Cool little room. You know, it's nice in here. There's a more modern thermostat. Definitely a more modern house. It's a more modern as in 2010, maybe. I like this uh, door. That's looking empty to me. Could be wrong. Yeah, just the scraps of what was left. Hey, they go away. And some undergarments. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, I've been here. Oh, this actually, this kind of looks nice. I like this room. It's starting to smell real bad. Look at that, I got green olives. Yeah, yeah, kind of empty looking. But uh, yeah, big room though, big house, big, big rooms in the house, I like it. All right, see so guys, we're getting closer to the intersection here. We got this house right here. There's some very impressive houses down there. Let's go over here. You got a nice flat screen and then check this out. Big open wide room, recently updated. I like this place. Getting a pretty empty house. Nice bathroom. My back is really starting to hurt, so I'm rushing it a little bit, but we'll get through everything, I promise you. I got problems with my back. Look at that old uh, security camera. I don't know why they tried to make this place look like it was uh, watched over when it's gonna be torn down so quick. Oh, here, okay, here's the back room to the TV. Cool. I never saw this room. Yeah, carpet in the garage. <laughs> yeah, carpet. That's so weird. Must have never worked on a car in the day in their lives. Or they don't have BMWs. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice patio. Very modern. I love it. Playground.
Oh, this is nice. Big wide open room here. It's so crazy to imagine that all this will be gone in a couple weeks. Oh my gosh, this is a nice house. I like it. Somebody stole the copper, look at that. Gone. Okay, so here we go, look at this bathroom. Oh my, I like this. Very cool. All right, y'all, y'all wanna see the camera I got? Look at this. This thing was not cheap. Reinvesting here. You heard that? Yeah. Sound like glass breaking. We'll see if someone else is around. Well, anyways, down to this house, and that's it for this part of the street. We'll get to some more over here. I got stories for a lot of these houses. Uh, what do we got here? It's empty too. Less updated. I gotta film all these houses for whoever lived here though. And there's some unique features to all these houses, I'm not gonna lie. Like this bathroom, kind of cool, old style. So what I can tell you guys about this corner house here that's on the corner of the street. This house is completely empty. It was likely going to be rehabbed before the buyout happened. There's nothing in here, I promise you guys. On to the next one. This one I have a story about. Okay, so this one here was owned by an old lady. She had an abandoned Audi in the garage, a bunch of abandoned cars they also wanted to buy. Fortunately, that never happened, but this was the sister of a lady that lived right there. I'll show you her house later, but she was uh, she was pretty nice. She wanted a lot of money for the Audi, and I couldn't afford that. Um, but yeah, let's go, let's go see what's up here. So there's a big pile of stuff. Actually, I think somebody was walking through the mud here or something, but she left She left quite a bit behind Actually, like you know, like I said, she was old didn't want to take too much. Okay But you know, it's weird this room look at this Smells awful. And uh, I don't know who lived here, but it definitely wasn't her because she seemed too sweet to live in a room like this. But uh, I don't know what's up with this. Somebody else was living here, obviously. Some younger person. I know she had a son, or a uh, grandson, but he seemed nice too. I, didn't, I don't know what happened to that room. That room smells so bad, dude. But uh, yeah, go see what happened there. I don't know what happened. <laughs> oh, I got a pool out there. Look at that. Nice pool. Man, a lot of these pools, you know, none of them were in ground besides that one. Look at that. She left all the couches here. Man. Okay, yeah, so, look, I was inside here. Oh my gosh, the whole ceiling fell. Whoa. But yeah, I was in here when she lived here. I was in this garage. She showed me around and there was an abandoned Audi here. You could actually see the the marks here. I don't know what kind of Audi that was. It seemed like a nicer one. But yeah, it was dragged out. You know, guess what I offered her for the Audi? $300. Maybe that's why she didn't sell it to me. Fair enough. Look at this, the whole ceiling fell. I don't know how that happened so quick. Yeah, so yeah, that, that, was, the, that was the sister of the lady that lived there. And uh, here's, I guess, the uh, that Mexican family in the van. I don't know if I've been in here. Nicer house too. No wonder they stripped some stuff. I don't see anything. Nicer bathroom. Decent house. Look at the kind of thing up there. Wait, it's arched down. 
Holy garage. So this garage here has a total of four doors, I think. Four, or doors enough to fit four cars, I don't know. Big garage, so whoever lives here had a lot of cars. And look at that, they have a uh, air pump set up here. Air pump hose, or oxyacetylene. I think that's air pump, yeah. Interesting, nothing else though. Ooh, look how close I am to the water. What? Oh, it's Daniel walking upstairs. Okay. <sighs> Heard some stuff. Look how fresh this water is though. All, this, all these appliances. All right, here's the next house. Um, there was, uh, the old family members were actually taking stuff out here recently. Um, there's still the Christmas tree and everything set up as you can see inside. But uh, door is wide open. Yeah, I think about two or three days ago, the old family was here. I talked to them. They didn't. They weren't too interested in an interview. An old. They said. They said an old relative lived here. But yeah, this is this this room right here. Nice, very nice kitchen again. Some of these houses, man. Well, the Christmas tree is here, but uh, not too much else. I don't think. Yeah, they. they they took a lot of the stuff, a lot of the other stuff. If only I came here a week earlier, right? Almost forgot, look at this bathroom. This is amazing. Look at this, very, <laughs> they took the toilet. Decent bathroom though. There's a guy right now, you see him? He's salvaging the solar panels. You see him right there? He's, he's salvaging the solar panels. All right guys, so this was the lady who called me. I run a separate scrap metal business and uh, she asked me to remove some stuff from her house and I probably took uh, $25 worth of stuff. Guess how much she asked? She asked for $50 for all the steel. Was not worth a lot, but great woman, great woman. Um, this was the sister of that one lady's house I just checked out. There we go. But this, uh, this house was nice. I was actually in the bathroom down in the basement. Um, let's see if we could show that. I don't think that'll show up though. Yeah, her house was pretty cool. I was inside, I had to use the, the restroom. Yeah, so I, I, I got a video in her, in her bathroom just because I, uh, I don't know, I wanted to do a before and after, but it got all flooded. Okay, so let's see. I'll walk right here. Oh, that's a cool bar back there. But yeah, I was in that bathroom right there. I took a little video with the power on. It didn't do much, though. But look at this. This is all flooded. <laughs> and that table, look at that table. It's still got stuff on it. There's like a grandfather clock. Look at that, that dirty spider web water. <laughs> Interesting. Kind of decent house. She took a lot of stuff, her and her daughter. You got some little, what is this, cabinets? Ain't too much in here. Here's the bathroom, pretty nice. Oh my, not showing that. But yeah, decent house. All right, so this house right here, very funny story. Uh, there was a Polish couple that lived here and I, I rang their door camera um, asking them about an interview. And you know what the guy said? F you. And uh, that was it, that's all I know about these guys. Um, but yeah, they, what I also, what I also know is they modernize their home very well. Um, you'll see in a second here, like they probably like a year or two ago, they, they modernized their home. Look at this, you guys. Stunning house. I mean, seriously, look, they, got a, they had a chandelier here. Might have been, you know, the guy might have said F you because he was sad about this whole situation or his wife was sunbathing outside, I don't know. Oh, it's not flooded. Really? 
Oh my gosh, this is a nice basement. Oh yeah, it is. Wow. This was a nice basement. My gosh, and this is like abandoned. Going to be wrecked. Crazy. I can't get over this house, I really like it. Okay, yeah, also, funny thing, so, they uh, removed all the boards here. I mean, damn, they just placed them here. The construction workers just put them here maybe two years ago and it's gone already. It's gonna all be destroyed. Unbelievable. So I'm not gonna show the bottom part. You can kind of guess what that is, but that's Polish, right? Is it? Warszawa? Yeah. Yeah, that's Polish. Oh my gosh, so the, whoever lived here was, wait, what does that mean? Do you know? It's a, it's a city. Oh. The guy who lived here might have been off his rocker, I don't know. Oh, <laughs> yes he was. Huh. That's crazy. This was definitely the guy's work who used to live here. Oh, we got some sockets. Let's take a quick look through the house. Polish guy, if you're watching this, uh, I don't know. This is your house. Like, look at this, bro. This is a modern toilet. Modern, well, I don't know if that's, a modern faucet for sure. Modern everything. What a shame. What a shame. I have the same shower. Yep, this one's totally empty. Looks like a uh, 2000s update. Everything was taken out. Oh, we got a box or a room full of boxes. Ain't nothing there. Nice toilet. Huh. Otherwise, master drive, what does that mean? Oh, this is, the floor was taken out here, oddly enough. Yeah, so I don't know much about this house. Don't know nothing much about this house. Let's go to the next one. All right, guys, we have to be careful. This house is actually still lived in, and they're leaving June when their uh, son graduates high school. I'll leave these people alone. Actually, well, she knows me, but I've never checked out this house right next to hers. So let's go see what's up with this one. wide open and, and uh, decent amount of things in the cupboards. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. There's stuff in here. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my gosh, Legos. Sick. This was the kids room, they had kids. It was a family here. Holy Legos. Pretty nice. Poor kids had to get up and leave. Oh my gosh, I have a story for you guys. Let me film this house and I'll tell you. This story is probably as shocking as the entire neighborhood bio. So I was here, I'd say three days ago or a week ago and the school bus came in. They dropped off a kid in here. They dropped off a kid in this neighborhood. And he was a little kid and he was just kind of looking around like, like where am I? And I think after like 30 minutes his mom picked him up, but that was negligence by the school I would say crazy that that actually took place and I saw that. I should have filmed it, but it's a kid. I don't really want to film kids. Um, so I thought that was interesting. All right, so there's two very nice houses here. I might actually talk to the lady living there before I go check them out, just so I don't, you know, scare her or anything. So I'll see I'll see if she's home and knock, knock on the door. So I don't want to film this too much, but this is, this, these people are staying until June. I'm not gonna bother them. Uh, there's two houses here. They didn't answer by the way, but yeah, there's two houses here We're gonna check out and then we're gonna go to the last row of houses down there So let's go see this one. Oh, so they got solar panels, too. It's crazy. They sold their houses with solar panels on them. Those are extremely valuable 
Uh, yeah, there's that one. We're gonna check this one out real quick, see what's up. Might look pretty nice in there. I just realized I never explored this house, but it's pretty nice in here. Actually, look, look on the floor. What is this, to protect the floor? Why? Why? Oh my gosh, they were probably in the middle of renovations when they, oh my gosh, when they got bought out. That's crazy, crazy to me that this is going to be destroyed. What do you think? You think they were renovating it right before they got bought out? That's nuts. Oh my gosh. They totally were, dude. Look at this, they didn't even install the toilet, I don't think. Wild, this is the only intact room here. That's just, I can't wrap my head around how they're going to destroy a pretty much brand new interior house. Oh my gosh. That's wild to me. This is why I film empty houses, because look, it's just crazy how they can put such brand new stuff and destroy it, you know? So here's the last house on the street besides the lived in one right uh, in front of it. This one I think is pretty cool looking compared to the other ones as well. I don't know what year this would be. What? But it's so random. Thai Spoon. Do they own a restaurant? I don't know. I don't know. There we go. Here's this beautiful house. Bro, there's a whole kitchen cooker in here. That makes sense. Might have owned a Chinese restaurant. Look at this sunroom, y'all. I will open it. Show you guys inside. Someone broke that. Huh. Cool little room. There's a little branch of a plant there. They must have cut it out. Bamboo. There's that fancy fridge I always talk about. The one with the radiator on top. Nice flooring too. So here's kind of the upstairs. Even when this neighborhood was lived in, I always wanted to film this house. You got a beautiful view of everything, despite it being industrial. Look at this, this is right on the border of industrial. Right here. Yeah, dude, this house right here, I'm not gonna post this video until everything's kind of destroyed and they, these people move out, but can't wait to check this house out when they leave. Hopefully I can get an interview from them though. The lady was nice when I talked to her last. Oh guys, and here's the bathroom. Pretty nice in here too, I would say. Shame, shame, shame. So yeah, this house has like two floors and the, the basement, or I should say the main floor is right here. Someone broke this. This is what they left behind. Not too much. More modern stuff, more modern style in here. Got a golf club and some documents. And some cleats it looks like. And guys, they have a sauna. Look at that, sauna in your own house. I really like that. Someone was really sweating in that room. And here's the uh, garage. There's some, yeah, I remember there was something unique about this. Okay, well first off, what, what is all this? You got a cool painting and some cool, oh, I kinda want those. I wonder if those are genuine. Car radio. Uh, yeah, what, what, was, what was weird about this dad car? Something was weird about this house. Um, it was like this, I think. I feel like might have removed this stuff, but there's a bunch of kitchen stuff here. Here's like an example. What is this? A pancake cooker or something? I don't know. They had some operation down in here. So that's this whole street. Now there's a last street we got to check out, and uh, then we'll be finished. But man, this has been kind of exhausting. We are onto the last street of this neighborhood. This whole street's fenced off, so I'll get a shot of the front of all the buildings first and then show you guys the inside. Um, there's some more houses with stuff left behind, so you guys are gonna be interested in what you see. So we're currently at the last street here. 
let's uh, let's go check out what's inside this house. Yeah, there's there's the solar work being done. Don't know if it's legitimate or not, but not my business. Thanks. It's crazy how everything's open. When I first came here, nothing was open. Slowly things started opening up, and then now every single house is open. So this house actually turns into two large rooms. Look at that. That's a cool room. Huh, I thought there was more stuff left behind. Okay, I guess I'm wrong. Or somebody came and took everything. I swear this is like full of stuff. Anything in there? No. Nah. But, I mean look, nice house. Look, nice bathroom. Very nice bathroom. It's a shame what they've done. It's a shame what they've done. Oh, a power line fell into the pool. I think that's a power line. Holy, no, that's just, there's, there's stuff. This house I think is cool. Yeah, this one's nice. I think this is the MAGA house. Maybe. But it's pretty. Okay, no flashlight. Great. I use... But yeah, this is. Um, I like this house. Although, they stripped this a little bit. They took a couple things here and there. Actually, the sunlight works for this without a flashlight. Yeah, they left uh, a couple things in here. Actually, there's a whole entire wardrobe. Somebody was looking through this recently. Oh, what is that, poop? No. <laughs> um, yeah, nice laptop. And uh, Somebody took the film out of this. Maybe the original residence. Overall decent house. Decent house. Yeah, so if you guys couldn't tell, my flashlight just died, so... Um, I'm gonna have to go without a flashlight for a little while, but we'll make it work. Uh, friend's still in there, but... Uh, let's see, we got some houses down there, and then some down there. There's there's some down there with everything left behind. It's pretty crazy. So, we will, uh, we will see. They took their whole deck. All that's gone. Let's see what's in here. Okay, nice house. Once again, more updated. How are we doing without a flashlight, guys? How are we looking? Okay, you can see when you walk into the rooms, at least. Holy fire alarm. Dang, was Anton Chigger here? Look at that. Oh, that's... It's like so sealed shut. Yeah, this is the house that sold their garage. Might have been in my intro. Regardless, next house. Ain't nothing in here. So this is probably one of the only empty lots actually here, which I find interesting. They never built a house here. If they never sold the neighborhood off, there probably would be a McMansion sitting over this. It's really a shame what they've done. Actually, we're getting a lot done sooner than I thought. Okay, so this house. And then there's this house here. I never checked this house, house, house out either. Got some cut down trees here. Uh, well, let's go in here. Let's find a way in here. American flags. Okay, so this might be promising. As in a nice house. This is a pretty nice house. I don't know if I've been in here. Oh my gosh, whoa. This is a cool house. You know, for how small they look, some of these are really impressive, seriously. Pillow Pet. Remember Pillow Pet? <laughs> look at this big piece of glass. That's worth, that's money. You got a cool bathroom. Check this out. 
Boom. Bro, why is someone crapping in all the toilets, man? <laughs> Look at this bathroom, though. I like it. Is it. Do you call this a jacuzzi? I'd say so. Is that what these are? Yeah. Decent. Decent, man. The water jets and everything. Yeah. What a loss. Daylight's burning. I think we got only seven houses left. Oh, looks like they tried to move their couches and failed. Couldn't get them out the damn front door. Very nice house. I was not expecting this. Someone completely destroyed the glass here. God knows why. So we're right behind the lived-in house and oh my gosh, they got a pool. That's gonna be a cool explorer in the future. Uh, wow, there's a board here, what? That is weird. The deck is totally gone. Oh, that's sick. Oh my gosh, there's a pool table in there, or foosball. Oh, can you see it, can y'all can see that? Let's see. Foosball. Wow, can we even get up here? Gotta walk over all this, this was all salvaged. Oh, the front door's open, okay. Maybe we go in the front door. Oh, I see them. Yeah, what can they do? Oh yeah, this one was nice. Whoa, oh my gosh. Dude, that's sick. That's gonna be totally flooded, I know it. Yep. Where does it start? Right here. Can you see anything? I see the foosball, there's a uh, ping oh, pong get there. Maybe two. Maybe that's just a table back there. Oh, dude. That's sick. Dang, that's a nice uh, downstairs. Look at that brick floor. Oh, dude. Oh, go over there. Whoa. This was such a nice house. Yeah. Very nice basement. Shame. This is incredible, guys. How do you make a house so nice and beautiful and abandon it? Well, you know why. But it's still a shame. Let's see here, so. Got some rooms empty. Dang, man, they just painted this and everything. Gotta use my phone light for this. But this is going too. Crazy, dude. All right, we are on our way back to the last couple houses, last side of the street, and we will be finished. You see somebody drove through here? I don't know who keeps driving through these lawns. It's gotta be workers, look. See they spray painted that? The guy's still on the roof. Working along with us. So we're debating on whether he's stealing or not. We don't know. Cool guy though, very nice guy. He got his number down, so he's probably not. He's probably working for the company. We got a couple people in and work right now. We've been here so long. We've been here since 12. Here we go, guys. The last kind of part of the street here. Gosh, the sun's setting. Yeah, see, they took their garage off too. We're gonna see what's inside here. First off, sick pool. Second off, oh, solar panels. Uh, what do we got here? I'm trying to think of what these guys were working on, like when they lived here. What their job was. I, I couldn't okay, tell you guys. We literally have three more houses to explore. This is gonna be interesting. So there's sand here because somebody salvaged all the bricks, which means this is probably a newer house. And right again. It smells horrible in here. And this is brand new. Brand new looking. It's because the basement's flooded. That's why it smells so bad. 
This is weird though, the, the leaves there. Empty, empty, empty. Nothing else here. All right, there's two more houses we're gonna check out. Is there anything in there? In that garage? No. Uh, it's a nice door, nice front door. If I had my own house, I would be salvaging a lot of this. I don't know if I ever got inside this one either. Because there was no back door. But it doesn't matter anymore. It's about to go. Everything's about to go. Look at this, they started work. Oh my gosh. This is the saddest thing I've ever seen. The last couple times I came here, I was very upset. Now I'm just here to film, but it is very emotional even for me. Oh, wow. So it's, it's nice in here too. Wouldn't you know. See the fans already starting to droop because of the mold. Just crazy. Brand brand new updated house. Gone. Beautiful bathroom. Once again. We're headed to the last house and I saved it last, but not least, as in it's gonna be pretty cool. As in everything's left behind inside here. So prepare yourselves. So this house is probably gonna be literally next. I don't know what, I forgot what was here. Holy, watch your step. But um, yeah, they've started. Copper wiring is starting to come out. But here's a little view of what you can, you can guess what else is gonna be in here. Everything. Everything, guys. I don't know what happened here either. To me, this seems like a a last. To me, this seems like a party that happened at the end of the the sale. But why would they leave everything? Why would they leave everything? All right, I, uh, I opened the blinds to get a better look, but yeah. Wait till you see the bedroom. I just looked at it to open the blinds. What do you guys? Take a look at everything that's been left here. Why, why did they do it? Okay, personal stuff. So we got a family here. But where did they go? They owned a Mercury. A little poker game. Oh, here's some more family photos. This is this makes me sad. Their last Christmas. Last photos of Christmas. Gone. Bro, this is everything. Why? Here's the last room. Bit dark, but you can see kids toys and everything was here. I don't know why. Is that flooded? Just a little bit, yep. Let's see what we can see. Not anything? No. Oh, it's empty. There might be some stuff over there, but... Uh... Huh. Oh, this is the last house, you guys. Everything will end up like that. 
I'm actually heartbroken because of the, the amount of time I spent here. I mean, this this almost feels like my own neighborhood because the amount of time I, I've known about stuff going on here and the amount of time I've talked to people, um, helping people, getting to know people here, it's, it's definitely saddening. We'll see what happens in the future. I'll be documenting stuff in the future, but this is a full explore. I, I hope I filmed every house for each and every one of you guys who used to live here. Um, keeps happening i don't know what to say you guys fought it off pretty hard but i know what happens well that's that how do you feel about all this daniel what do you think it's crazy it's crazy i'm uh, really glad i got to see this but it's just uh mind-boggling you see that car? Yeah. Wonder what they're up to. <laughs> Good thing I got my camera handy. Well, we're out of here anyways. Something always something bad always happens when we're when we're leaving, huh? Yep. Well, what are they gonna do? I know everybody here. Yo, there's some kids here. I'm gonna mess with them. Let's go go to the car. What? What is he doing? <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah. Let's go mess with these kids exploring. Where do they go? This is too much effort. I think this is too much effort. They're gone. They're somewhere. Yeah. Too many houses to look through, really. Well, everybody, they've officially started demolition, guys. If you look right behind me, it's pretty much starting to get all torn down right now. Never thought I'd see the day. Fortunately, I was a little too late for the demolition, uh, but I'll be there tomorrow and film the excavators wrecking all the homes. Hopefully, I can get some drone shots real quick before they tear everything down. Truly a shame, truly a shame. Crazy to see it how it is. Let me get some, uh, maybe some shots from the road here, but let's see. So, yeah, actually, oop, let's see here. So yeah, so guys, right here, all the houses are here, and then boom, you start looking over here, they're starting to get wrecked. Here, we're gonna go to the street real quick, see all the trees knocked down and stuff, kind of crazy. Truly a sad sight. Here we go, this is crazy. Oh, we got some guys down there, actually. Huh. But yeah, all the trees are knocked down. Crazy sight. All right, y'all, I got a trip to Canada, so I got to make this quick and get all the footage out of the way. Uh, as an ending to this video, this plot of land, this plot of land, and this house right here are the last holdouts. These three. This one just sold for $10 million. This one is indefinitely holding out. Eventually, they'll go. And these people are leaving in June. The uh, the family, I didn't want to bother. But, that's kind of it. Terrible situation, I have to say. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Thanks for watching. This is my longest video yet. I tried to film each and every one of these houses for you. By the way, if you guys like the flashlight I use in the video, I'll link it down below for 30% off on your next purchase. Using my affiliate link, you can get a discount. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. It took a long time. This is like my longest thing ever, dude. So yeah, thanks for watching. If you think the story ends here, it doesn't. There's much more that meets the eye. As this neighborhood gets destroyed, another, much larger one is being vacated as we speak. Tune in later on.